All right, so you're somebody that's looking up information about weight loss after a BBL, all right? But first, for the people that don't even know what a BBL is, we're going to look at this to explain what a BBL is. It's to increase the size and shape of a voluptuous buttocks while removing fat from other areas of your body pretty much to your butt, okay? So that's what a BBL is. It's a Brazilian butt lift. And we're going to talk about the weight loss part. All right. So just like any other thing, any other thing, if you put, uh, if you take a pill that lowers your appetite, which is not something I recommend. If you do um, liposuction, which is sucking and root removing the adipose tissue from the abdomen. If you put a cap on the sphincter of your stomach or you take out part of your stomach to make your stomach smaller, all of those things, in my factual opinion, is bullshit. This is why it's bullshit. If you do any of these things, it will not remove the actual habit that got you in that predicament. You do not need to be doing all of this. God made you perfect the way that you are. And here you go. It's one thing if you want to get a BBL to for the cosmetic purposes of making money, which is what some girls do for OnlyFans, okay? I ain't finna stop you from making your money. But we talking about losing weight, okay? People are doing this to avoid losing weight. Or you may be gaining weight after you get a BBL. Because you got the BBL the the easy way instead of getting in the gym, building up the muscle tone. See, th- for, for, for the women that want a natural buttocks that is voluptuous, Okay, I'm talking about, oh my gosh, right? There's certain exercises that you do at certain rep ranges. Okay, I talk about this in my course. I got the solution for you. It's down in the description box. I'm going to tell you the, the basics. There's certain exercises that you do at certain reps. All right? Focus on that. Doing that will increase your muscle mass and bring down your fat mass what a what a what i see a lot on ig and you know women that be doing the little butt poses it be jiggling too much all right too much jiggling is high fat percentage and low muscle mass okay if i smack that thing it should not jiggle wiggle all right now, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Some of y'all like that, but I'm talking about me. I can't talk about nobody else except for me. But it ain't a lot of dudes with you know that y'all say are high value that is looking for jiggly wiggly. If you if if we want a jiggly wiggly, we can just go to Walmart and pick up a full pack of Jello packs and then take one out, pop that thing open, put it on the counter. And then make that thing jiggle wiggle. You see what I'm saying? But it ain't trying to see it jiggle wiggle and everything. And not just for the cosmetic reasons. We're talking about um, internally as well. It, uh, when you, It's a symptom of being overweight, not having enough muscle mass. So your metabolic rate is going to be on the lower end. You're going to have trouble burning uh, fat extra fat okay so that is the main thing Uh, when you rely on these external factors they tend to come back in some type of way they always tend to some come back so that's why you know i still love you okay i still got the course down below that information is gonna keep you from having to deal with weight gain after getting a bbl 
uh, losing too much weight after getting a BBL. Because it's, um, it's women out here that, you know, go to the toilet and then stick their fingers down their throat and then throw up food trying to maintain a certain image for their OnlyFans page. Um, I know, I know it's a lot of people out here doing some crazy things for a strange piece of change. Um, but that should pretty much break down the basics of weight loss after a BBL, or if you're considering getting a BBL, if you're going to get one, if you already got one, okay, just make sure to consider that, that, that is fat that they're moving to your buttocks area. Okay, so if you start exercising or you you start slipping on your diet as far as not eating enough protein when it's time to eat, then you're going to burn the muscle mass and it's going to start to get a jiggle wiggle effect instead of being firm the way you got it when you first got it at surgery. You see what I'm saying? The muscle adds that firmness to it and now all you need is just a little bit of fat. Okay, but not a jiggle jiggle, you know what I'm saying? So that's the basis to it. If you want to learn more about this, you already know I'm the only person that know what they talking about on YouTube. The best of all the other YouTube channels is telling you a whole bunch of stuff that don't work, which is why all they subscribers is still fat. Okay, they got fat boys. They got fat girls over there. Still going to McDonald's at 8 p.m. And I called it on live in 4K and put it on this YouTube channel. Okay. Over here, you can see I'm, I'm rocking with it. I went to get a six-pack, my back shredding and everything. Gained muscle mass and all that. Didn't need a BBL. Didn't need, need no testosterone replacements and none of that. I did that with God. All right. And I'm trying to teach you how to get with God and, uh, get this natural stuff going okay so it's on you you have a great day i know this video taught you a lot so go ahead and leave a like on it and subscribe if you want but the main thing go ahead and get that course if you need it so if you want to stop getting lied to about weight loss nutrition anything about it remember to hit that like button down beneath this video, go purchase the course if you want it all in an organized fashion so you ain't got to look all over my channel for the information. Or if you don't want to do that, go ahead and watch another video on my channel. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell.